so I figured I'd do another little part to our simple stone tools video. I showed you how to bust flakes off of random rocks to get blades, points, and whatnot. So I'm just going to show you how I learned how to flint knot pretty much. I would come down to the river or creek or something like that, and I'd look for things like this right here. A little bitty. A little bitty thin lakes pretty much smoothed over got the rind completely over it but I would uh, work on these and you can even find them with points on them already kind of very minimum work but it's the way you can get started if you can't bust flakes off and look for stuff like this we're gonna gather up some small little pieces like this and get back with you and see what we can do with them okay so here's our simple stone tools and projectile points and things like I was talking about, you can find rocks that are already the shape you want, just about. You can throw that on a stick and be ready just about. Almost the shape you need. Little thin pieces easily worked. Simple stone tools here. I'm just going to show you how to work on a few of these. I'm going to use this stone here for a pressure flaker. And, uh, flake off some of these edges and try to get them down to a point. This one here I did the bipolar method on. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. Just a simple way to get some points. I just got a piece of driftwood here. Took the limb, broke it flat. Alright, so we're just going to take one of these here, see what happens with it. I'm going to stick mine on that piece of wood like that. Come here to the edge of it. Just going to try to get a little, little bit sharper of a point on there. broke on us there. I'm going to get numerous rocks also. That's all you got. That's all you got right there. Just an easy way to make some points there. Some of these edges here, well, all of them are pretty round and kind of thick, really. You got a thin edge right here, but you know, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to get you an edge started with your pressure flaker right there with these rounded edges. So I like to come with my hammer stone here, and I'll just take it and kind of hold it in my hand like this give it a few taps till it busts an edge off like that. And I can kind of work around this point. I mean, and you're not going for beauty here. You're going for functionality. Give it a few taps like that and you get that edge worked off. Right there. back like this. Start doing this bipolar method on it. And you just have your piece sitting flat down and you're hitting straight down onto it. I'm getting a little bit sharper there, not so rounded. And you want to be careful with this. If you hit it too hard like this, it'll break in half on you. Just giving it some little bitty taps, enough to bust that rounded part off. Best way is to get you a few rocks and just practice, really. And keep tapping away at this and we get us a good point on it. Now since
since we have this edge busted off right here we can come back with our little pressure flaking rock right here and kind of work this edge work this tip I meant to a point just by chipping little bits off Easy on your points right there. They'll break off. So, with not much work there on a piece already the shape we wanted it just about. We've got us a simple hunting point there. I mean, that's you can't get any simpler than that. larger stone here and see what we can get. I just like to walk around my stone here and get all those edges off. First thing, so it gives me some somewhere to work off of. See if we can get a point on this thing. Really simple, really quick, easy stone tools.